It was a year when a young doctor operated on the mound, and there was a crowning in Kansas City. The Royals were the best team in 1985. Here now are most of the best players. First base belongs to Donnie Baseball. Don Mattingly led the majors with 145 RBIs, hit 35 homers, and had 324, the American League MVP. Second base, Brian Sandberg had another solid year for the Cubs, batting over 300, homering 26 times, and driving in 83. At shortstop, it's the Wizard of Oz, the best defensive player in the game. Ozzie Smith won his sixth gold glove as the St. Louis Cardinals made it back to the World Series. The Cards met the Royals in the Fall Classic. George Brett got his ring after a season in which he was the Major League's best in slugging percentage and OPS and had his first 30 home run year. Gary Carter is behind the plate, a familiar spot in a new place. Carter posted 32 homers and 100 RBIs in his first season with the Mets. Speaking of new places and New York, Ricky Henderson went from Oakland to the Bronx, stole 80 bases and scored 146 runs. The National League MVP was also the National League batting champ. Willie McGee batted 353, totaled 216 hits, and his 56 steals was ideal for the Cardinals' small ball attack. Pedro Guerrero of the Dodgers had the NL's highest on-base percentage, slugging, and OPS as LA won the West. Designated hitter is Boston's Wade Boggs. Beating out the likes of Dale Murphy, Dave Parker, and Eddie Murray, Boggs had baseball's top batting average, the most hits, and reached base at a 45% clip. Dwight Gooden heads the starting staff. One of the greatest seasons ever on the mound, Gooden won the pitching triple crown with the most victories at 24, lowest ERA at 1.53, and the most strikeouts with 268. John Tudor of the Cardinals would have won the Cy Young in just about every other year. His ERA was also under two, and he had the lowest whip rate among starters. 21-year-old Brett Saberhagen won the World Series MVP with a Game 7 shutout, capping off his Cy Young season. Oral Hershiser won 19 of his 22 decisions for the Dodgers, along with a 2.03 ERA. Toronto ace Dave Steed had the lowest ERA and the best ERA plus in the American League. The bullpen features a pair from the American League West. Submariner Dan Quisenberry made 84 regular season appearances and converted 37 saves for KC, while Donnie Moore was also in the sub-2 ERA club, along with a 1.087 whip for the California Angels. And that's our team for 1985. Thanks so much for watching, and be on the lookout for 1986.